Fedora has always been one of the best-in-class Linux distributions that serve a solid desktop experience to an end user. Every year, the team of Fedora comes with a newer version and uses the latest desktop environment, new kernel, and more advanced features than other distros. Fedora 36 is their current version, featuring GNOME 42, which provides a vanilla user experience of GNOME desktop. But most of you don't know that Fedora is also available in other flavors like Plasma, XFCE, and more. If you are the one who details using GNOME Edition, then you can pick Fedora Plasma Edition. Hey guys, my name is KS Kiral. Welcome back to the brand new video. This is a quick overview of Fedora KDE Plasma Edition. Let's get started. Fedora Plasma Edition is a powerful operating system utilizing the KDE Plasma desktop as the main user interface. As you can see, I'm so much excited about this distribution and made myself to try on MacBook Pro 2017. Now, this is absolutely phenomenal. The user experience of Plasma desktop is much, much better than the GNOME desktop. Everything was snappier. Navigating through the user interface is impressive. Fedora 36 comes with the latest KDE technologies that give a ton of new changes, features, and improvements to the theme engine. One of the benefits you would get with your Plasma desktop is the all new overview effect. By using the hot corners, you can trigger this effect that shows the overview of all workspaces. The workspaces are virtual desktops that help in speeding up the workflow. Fedora 36 Plasma Edition also brings improved touchpad gestures. By using the trackpad or touchpad, you can use the combination of multiple fingers to trigger the UI actions. For example, swiping down with four fingers shows the preview of all running applications on the current workspace. Also, swiping left or right with four fingers switch between the workspaces. Now, compared to norm, these gestures are battery smooth. If you're the one who loves Fedora and are interested in tinkering with the desktop, then Fedora Plasma Edition is the one you must install. Let's say you want to customize the bottom panel or dock instead of going into settings, you can right-click anywhere on the panel and customize it according to your liking. Now this way, you can add or delete the system controls, start menu items, widgets, and more. It doesn't stop you there. You can even change themes, accent colors, icon packs, add widgets to the home screen, and do anything you want. The flexibility that you get with the Plasma desktop is incomparable with other desktop environments for Linux. Unlike the GNOME version of Fedora, which has limited applications pre-installed, this is not the case with the Plasma Edition. You get a plethora of applications that are loaded by default, which lets you kickstart your workflow. Some of the applications include Firefox, Office Suite, Utilities, Multimedia Tools, Education Apps, and whatnot. You can also use the Discover App Store that lets you download the software from KDE and RPM repositories. Also, you can integrate a FlatHub repository to download the most popular applications with one click.
Fedora 36 is powered by Linux kernel 5.17. Now this kernel brings support of the new hardware stack which includes processors, GPU, storage and networking. Some of the features of Fedora 36 include sysadmin improvements, the RPM tool only installs the recommended dependent packages on upgrade, and lastly if you use NVIDIA's proprietary graphics driver, your desktop sessions will now default to using the Valent protocol. This allows you to take an advantage of hardware acceleration while using the modern desktop compositor. Now speaking about performance compared to the GNOME edition, the Fedora Plasma edition is much better in terms of everything. From app launching to system animations, the Plasma desktop is much more snappier. Now this footage was shot from MacBook Pro 2017 running Fedora and the performance was outstanding. The idle RAM usage was around 1 gig, and when I started working with graphic intensive applications like Kden Live, GIMP, LibreOffice, the RAM utilization has bumped around 2 gigabytes, which is still very less compared to the GNOME desktop. Apart from this, if you are installing Fedora 36 Plasma Edition on laptops, you must install the TLP tool that optimizes the battery consumption. Overall, I would say the Fedora Plasma Edition is simply the best Linux distribution. I hope the diehard fans of KDE will be impressed with Fedora for sure. So what do you guys think about it? Which flavor of Fedora you would like to install on your computer? Comment down below. And that's pretty much it. If in case you like this video, hit the thumbs up down there. And don't forget to subscribe to this channel if you haven't yet. And consider hitting the bell button to get notified whenever I post a new video. Also, if in case you have any suggestions, post them in the comment section down below. Thanks for watching my video. This has been KSK Ryle. I will see you in my next one.